Hi everyone and welcome to day 11 in my 12 days of declutters. So close, we are so close. I think it goes without saying that we are decluttering my brushes today. Hope that you guys are all doing well. I hope that you got yourself a snack and a drink because I have no idea how long this is going to take, but I have a feeling it's not going to be, uh, you know, a super brief one, judging by the amount of brushes I am surrounded by. So let me very quickly introduce myself and let's jump in. Otherwise, we are going to be here way too long. For those of you that are new to to my channel. Hi and welcome. My name is Natalia and I'm a concert pianist who loves all things beauty. 2024 is a year of me discovering and in a lot of cases rediscovering my own collection and I'm trying to bring in less so that I have more time to use the makeup I already own and get to know it better, figure out what still serves me and what doesn't. And I figured that a declutter is a good place to start so that I have a little bit of less overwhelm and it will help me be a bit more successful in my little personal project of trying to go through and use as many items in my house as possible. So if you've missed my previous 10 declutters, I will go ahead and have my entire playlist linked down below in the description box. If you're interested in a variety of content where I do a lot of chatting about makeup, both old and new, then I hope that you will consider sticking around and subscribing. And without further ado, Let's jump in. I have my herbal tea in this gorgeous, gorgeous hand-painted Polish mug that was actually a gift from a student of mine for the holidays, for Christmas. So I'm trying out this herbal tea that I've purchased a few months back and completely forgot about. I actually bought it in Brighton Beach at a Russian uh, pharmacy that has like a wall of herbs. And I believe these are calendula flowers and they're supposed to be great for like a myriad of things everything from eczema which i do have to digestive problems to supposedly helping with like cramps and all sorts of things so yeah i'm giving it a try i'm hoping that i enjoy it so far so good so far it kind of reminds me of chamomile a bit so how am i gonna do this to be honest i have no idea because i don't think i've ever decluttered brushes before and if i have it's just been like randomly picking out a few that i haven't used in a long time i'm not really sure how how to go about this. What I have done is I have kept the brushes that I washed just a few days ago separated because I figured, well, since I washed them, that means I've recently used them. So I'm probably going to be comparing some of the brushes in this whole mess to the ones here because I, I'm hoping that might be helpful. But I do feel like I need to sort through and maybe tackle eye brushes and face brushes separately. So I guess give me a minute to figure this out and then we'll get started. How am I going to do this? God, oh my goodness. All right, now I don't promise, as with all of my other declutters, I say I don't promise to get rid of a lot. I actually have no idea what I will or will not get rid of, especially with brushes, because I feel like I do go through quite a lot of my brushes. We're gonna start with the eyes, where I feel like I really can uh, utilize the majority of my brushes. I am picky, but I feel like not as picky as some others when it comes to my brushes. I can make only almost all brushes work if I have to. So yeah, we're gonna see. I honestly have no idea how this is going to go. I hope to get rid of at least a few, just as I said, mostly for the overwhelm factor, but I also don't wanna get rid of things if I know I might still use them in the future. So I didn't end up organizing a lot. I just moved the face brushes for now out of the way. I feel like if anything, I'm just going to go through what's already here and then start pulling from here and comparing it and letting you know it if these are brushes I use regularly and just hadn't gotten around to before I wash these or if they're something that 
I no longer have a use for. I guess let's start with blending brushes. I like both large and small blending brushes because it really depends on the look I'm going for in a given day. Obviously, if I'm going to do something a little more precise with more colors, I'm going to opt for smaller. But on really busy days, sometimes I will just throw one color kind of almost all over the eye and then, you know, a shimmer and then maybe put a darker color in the outer corner. And that's pretty much it. So I always have a use for blending brushes that are kind of similar to these. Usually when I run out of my BK Beauty or um, my Singe, which is actually smaller, I start pulling for pretty much anything of this shape from my collection. Like this is a BH Cosmetics brush, but there's absolutely nothing wrong with it. I will still use it. I have this one, which is a, a lot more dense. This is actually a Sedona lace brush. So this is something I might use more for like a one and done especially for a cream shadow and then this is more precise these are what were these oh this is sydney grace actually did i even mention no i don't think i did do i have any others here here's one from wet and wild that i actually like a lot so as i said i'm not too too picky i do love these two beaky beauty brushes so i have the 201 which is a much larger fluffier one and then this 202 which of course has the tapered tip and is my much more precise but i was pulling for these like more wide ones at the moment i feel like the singe if anything is a little more similar to the 202 so let's leave that there for a sec so we've got these these are keeping because recently have been used let me see if i have anything similar in here this actually looks like it might be is this the same do i have two of these no no, this is the 42 and this is the 44. Oh, I see. Okay. So this is definitely slightly larger and fans out more. This one has a bit more of a rounded tip and a slightly smaller pinch, but I'm sure I will use both. So we're going to keep that. Here's another one from BH. Very similar, I feel like, to the one I have. Just one is, what is this considered? Like when it's a multicolored. I know I, I am not a brush snob. I don't own a lot of very high-end brushes because they are so expensive. So I'm sorry if I sound like a toddler when I'm talking about this, but it is what it is. Yeah, these look very similar. I'm going to use both, especially once some other ones get dirty. Here's one from Refer. So that to me is still kind of in that family. So this, if I remember correctly, is natural hair. And do I have any others that are natural hair? It doesn't look like it. This might actually be my only natural hair. I have to keep searching here. Here's one. This one is tapered, but I feel like I would still use it more for the same kind of purpose. It is definitely much more tapered, but it's large enough where it probably would still use it as kind of like a crease brush that I would, you know, just sweep on. This is a unit brush. I got this unit set. You can see these orange handles in my Beautylish Lucky Bag. Not this past year, not in 24 but in 2023 and I really like these brushes so that's gonna stay I kind of wish kind of wish most of my brushes were the same length and I feel like I don't know I prefer maybe for them to not be super long but the standard mid-size but it is what it is brush companies have their own visions and their own reasons for making brushes the sizes that they are let's see what we have here I have this Morphe brush I don't even know where I have this but this this thing is like, this is really chunky. Chunky and tapered. I feel like, I don't know, do I really need this? This seems a little overkill, even from my not very picky self. I don't even know, where do I have this brush from? I have the Sigma E40. This thing is so old, oh my goodness. I really should replace it. I feel bad getting rid of this though, because I feel like it's one of the few Sigma brushes that I have left. I never pull for it, just because it's already so splayed out. Like if you compare it to all of these right like if we look here can you see i don't even know yeah you guys can see i mean these are just these are a little too super chunky 
I think these two I can let go of. I don't remember the last time I reached for those two, to be honest. All right, we've got another BH brush. This one, though, is perfectly fine. What else do I have? Here's one. Oh, here's actually one from Sigma. This was part of a set that they did in collaboration with uh, Shayla. And see, that this I like. What What is this? Do we have a number or was this like a special? Oh, see, this is also an E40. There's no way though. H how? Do you really mean to tell me that over age this got, shouldn't it thin out if anything? How, how did this get so, so chunky and so rounded? I don't understand because one of these does not look like the other, but now I don't feel as bad getting rid of that one because I'm going to keep this one. Okay, I have this one from Tres Luce, Tres Luci. To be honest, I feel like I used one of the other brushes from this collection. I have a couple and I don't remember loving it. I don't even know where I have this from. Could this be from a subscription box? Possibly. I don't think I love this one. So I think this one is going to get decluttered. In fact, I'm looking at the other two I can see right now from the same collection and I can't remember for sure, but I feel feel like last time I tried one of these, I was not too thrilled. Or should I give these a chance? Or should I just get rid of them? I'm just gonna get rid of them. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I don't think I have the patience to be like expanding my basket of doom to such an extent. I see this. This is a BH brush, but this clearly is not an eye brush, even though I have it stored. Well, my brushes are sort of all over the place. I don't know what I would use this for though. What would this be? An under eye powder brush or a highlighter brush? I'm I'm gonna have a maybe pile where I might wait for you guys to give me advice on how I would use certain brushes and try them. And if I don't enjoy them, they might get decluttered later because I don't think I've ever used this because I feel like it's like that in-between size that I honestly don't know what to do with. I feel like she's a little bit like a Britney song, not a girl, not yet a woman. She's in between and I have no clue where she fits into my makeup routine. So let let me know what you guys do with brushes that are this size. For now, she's gonna get put off to the side. Yeah, because like I'm looking, for example, at this Real Techniques brush. This one I do like for under eye, but it's more dense, it's more pinched. For some reason, this I'm a lot more confused by this brush than I am by this brush. Like this brush I really enjoy, but we're, we're not talking about her right now. Focus, Natalia, focus on the task at hand. Speaking of, here's another one. One, wet and wild this one i do feel like i've used for highlighter in the past so she's sh she's going in this pile of mysterious brushes that i guess i will tackle later on in this video i don't see any more fluffy brushes like this is already i guess we can put this there and i think that's it for these super fluffy brushes because the other ones have a taper that i'm looking at so these are staying let's deal with these that are more tapered because I feel like I have less of these, which is unfortunate. I am almost always running out of brushes that are more of this shape. Yeah, I have a feeling the few that I will find are going to stay out of necessity more than anything else. I see this one. This one is not my favorite. I don't remember where this is from. It is, oh, it's a Real Techniques brush, but it's not the same quality as like the traditional Real Techniques. I feel like this one's a bit more scratchy maybe but as i said i kind of also feel like i can't get rid of her at the moment because i don't have too many brushes that are this shape like even this is different this is moda pro this one's just says it's a crease brush this one's a bit chunkier rounded but chunkier but we'll we'll keep her i do use these these are all these go in and out of rotation depending on what's clean this morphe one however i I really don't like. It's very scratchy, this M441. So even though this is the shape that I would want to keep, I avoid that brush from what I remember. I have this one, but it's a dual fiber, and I almost never use this one because, again, I'm not sure how to use it. I feel like it's a little too thin up here. Like, these dual fibers are a little too long and too thin for me to use comfortably, but I don't know. Maybe I should give it another go. If you guys have a use for because I mean, I know how to use dual fiber face brushes, but I'm not too well versed, like technique wise, with dual fiber 
eye brushes. I'm gonna put this in my like maybe waiting for a device. Any any feedback you have on these brushes, I would love to hear it. I feel like that might be it for my round tapered mid-size blending brushes, which is a bummer, but obviously these four are staying. All right, let's do the small ones now. So these are the detailed blender brushes. And I feel like I have a lot more of those, especially as of late. Like I got the uh, Singe Beauty, which is a brand Agnella Caniquis owns. But so I have quite a few like little brushes from her set that she released last year and then the additional couple of brushes for eyes that she came out with this year so we have those those are the ones that have been most recently used oh i guess this could go into that this is much more dense but i guess this can go into like that smaller blending brush category so we'll keep that i am looking for smaller brushes this again is more dense but small here's another one I'm not even mentioning where all of these are from. These brown handles are Sydney Grace. This is Blends Bunny, these gray handles. As I mentioned, these yellow handles are Singe. The orange ones are from Units, which I think is a Beautylish brand. So we've got these. I have another one from Blends. It might even be the same because they were clearancing out these damaged sets. I think the ferrules was coming off or something, so they had to redo a lot of their brushes. Knock on wood, mine for now are still going strong i bought them on like super sale but yeah these are both the b4 so these are exactly the same i have another blends but this is the b5 it is a bit more dense but i would still categorize this as a fairly small brush here's one from that real techniques set that i'm not really in love with so i think this one i'm gonna declutter this i don't know i feel like this is already that category where it's more like this it's it's not a pencil brush it's like a very chunky pencil brush here's one from blends that is the b1 this is very similar i feel like to some of these that i was showing you guys earlier so that goes in this category here's one oh but see this one's pinched not really doing those yet oh here is a morphe brush that i don't think i really want easy enough Okay, I think, and if I've missed something, obviously I'll get to it later. But I think that's it for like the non-pinched, just round, small blending brushes. So we're gonna keep these. These are mostly from Blends, Singe, there's a Sydney Grace and a Units brush. Let's deal with these chunky, pencil -y brushes. I don't use these too often. And actually what I do use this for sometimes is packing on color in my outer V if I want it to be precise. And then I'll sometimes go in with a different brush to blend it out. So like a lot of times brushes that are meant more for packing color like that, they're too large I find and I just get too much of the dark color. So sometimes I will actually resort to these brushes for that job. So this specific one is from BK Beauty. This is the 207, but I do feel like, I mean, I know I pulled one earlier, but I feel like I have a few of those. So let me see. Oh, I found another little blending brush from Blends Bunny. This is another B1. Let's see if I can find the chunky pencils. Here's one from Japanesque. Here is a BH brush that I feel like is a smaller blender. So I missed that one. We'll keep that one. Okay, here's another chunky pencil brush. This is from BH. Here's one from Blends. This is the B3. I feel like this one's a little more pinched. So it's kind of in between a pencil brush and a chunky rounded pencil brush. We have one from Unit, another more tapered one, but it is quite chunky. And I say that because I'm comparing it to let's say something like this, which I use a lot for my lower lash line. This I believe is a wet and wild brush. This is very affordable. You see, this one is so much smaller. It has much less density, less bristles in it. So to me, those are quite different. Like I use them in a different way very often. So I think I'm gonna leave those here. So these two are the same. And are these more of a pencil brush? Yeah, I guess they are. Okay, let me put those aside for a minute. 
let's deal with these do i have any more i feel like i should let me see oh i found another detailed blender this is from Luxy beauty i really like Luxy beauty brushes so we're definitely gonna keep that one here's one that's definitely more chunky even though it's tapered this is the refer 26 uh-huh hmm here's one that clearly came in some sort of a Anastasia Beverly Hills palette. This side, I mean, you can even probably see it. It just looks so horrible and so cheap. I do have to say this side is pretty good, but I almost never use these double-sided brushes. I keep saving them for like travel, throwing my bag on the run, on the go, and then they just get lost and I forget about them. So I'm going to get rid of that. Here's that other chunky pencil brush that I found earlier. So this one is from BH. And here's one that I find is a little too chunky. This is an e.l.f. contour brush, but I don't know what I would be contouring with this. Maybe my nose, but I don't contour my nose. I don't remember the last time I used this. So this is gonna go. I think that's it for the chunkier pencil brushes. I think these are the six that I have because I feel like this, I mean, this one is rounded. So yeah, actually, I'm gonna put this one in this category too. I I wonder where the second one is because I do feel like I oh it's right here it was just recently washed so clearly I do use this brush so we're gonna save these I have a Japanesque Japanesque one honestly I can't remember the last time I used this one either do I really need it no I think I'm gonna get rid of that one I think I'm just gonna keep the two from blends my BK Beauty my units my refer and my two from BH all right and since we're in a topic of the little pencil brushes let me find all of those because i use those a lot i know a lot of people manage to blend their lower lash line with various brushes i clearly don't know what i'm doing because if i use a very large even if it's super fluffy if i use a larger brush than this on my lower lash line i find that it looks absolutely crazy so usually what i do is i'll go in with a very dense thin brush like this to pack on the color like directly on my lower lash line like the dark color and then I'll grab a lighter color with a brush like this that's like very thin and soft and I'll buff everything out so I do use this size quite a lot so let me see how many other ones I have I have this refer one that is so tiny I do to be honest forget about it but I don't want to get rid of this brush it is quite lovely it's just small unfortunately this one i don't know i first of all i feel like it's a dual fiber it's at an angle it's got like three and a half hairs i don't know what to do with this brush and i don't even know if it's worth putting it in a maybe or if i should just get rid of it i think i'm going to declutter it it's possible that these brushes will still be in my house when this video goes up because i don't want to necessarily throw these out i'm probably going to try to find somebody to give them to so it's possible that if i don't get around to giving these away yet when i post this video i might still have this sitting in my house for a few more days so if you have any advice on any brushes that as i said i'm putting in the maybe pile or i'm getting rid of and you think i should try them a certain way do let me know oh i found one more from that tres luce tres luce tres tres luce company that i'm going to get rid of do i have any more pencil brushes specifically here's a oh wow what a blast from the past here's a dose of colors brush from a palette i used to actually use this because these are small and this especially is really good for blending out either lower lash line or inner corner highlight because i like these sort of small but dense brushes for that you guys will see that a little bit later so but again i unfortunately just gets lost because it's so tiny i'm gonna put this in a maybe because um i'm not sure i guess i'll see how many of these type of brushes I end up having. I think that's it for pencil brushes, at least for now. So these are the ones that I am left with. I have my three from, I think these are Wet n Wild, or are these Elf? Oh, these are Elf, I'm sorry. I think I said Wet n Wild earlier. These are Elf brushes, and I really like these. I think one of them is starting to get a little loose, probably because I use these so much. I'm sure I bought like one and liked it so much that I bought more. And then I have this one from Crown. I feel like it is a little scratchy, so I don't know, am I gonna use this on my 
my eyes. Let's hold off. Let's see what else I've got here. I have my Spectrum and Katie J Hughes from the set that I bought. I really like that brush. And I now have two of these from Blend Bunnies. I have my Refer and I have this Sigma. What is this? The E30? Yeah, the E30. I used to have more E30s. I guess, I guess over time I've had to get rid of them. I feel like that should be enough. Eight brushes is enough. We're going to get rid of the crown one. Oh my gosh. We are already 40 minutes in and I am not even, I, I don't even know what I'm doing. Let's do... What are we gonna do? I don't even know. I'm feeling a little overwhelmed. Overwhelmed is what I'm feeling. Let's do all these other random larger brushes. A lot of these, especially because a lot of mine are synthetic. Not all, I think. I Like the Tom Ford. I don't even know. Is this real hair or synthetic? Either way, a lot of these are these larger ones I use for cream shadows. And I, I'm not really into like the one and dones, but I have been doing that a little bit more throughout 2023 and into 2024. So I want to see like how many of these I have and which ones I'm going to keep or if I'm going to keep all of them. So these two, as you saw, actually these three, I just recently washed. So clearly I've been using these. This Tom Ford one I got at a CCO. I definitely did not pay nearly full price for it. This is a Units 308 and this is just a very old crown brush that I still very much love. I have this one from Marc Jacobs. This one does have a bit of a taper. You could use this. Actually, this is a concealer brush, so I guess I could try it for that too, but I think I mostly use this for cream shadows. I love my Real Techniques brushes for cream shadows because, again, they're a little bit more dense. I think thought I have another one. Oh, here. This one I actually use when I have a lot of gray hair, like before I have time and the finances to go get my hair done. I use this. You can even see it's used to like I'll use eyeshadow and color in some of my gray. So this got recently washed, but in the few days that these brushes were drying and waiting for me to film this video, I already used this brush. So definitely keeping that one and this Real Techniques. This I can use for both blending things out and also for creams. Here's another one that's quite large and I can use for creams. I don't know if I've used this one a lot yet, but I don't feel like it's a bad enough brush where I need to get rid of it. Here's, these are very similar. I feel like these are actually identical, except this is all white bristles and this is not. These are both from BH Cosmetics. I'm sure they just came in two different sets, but they are ultimately the same brush. I have, um, well, this I guess is more similar to these. Let's leave that. Do I have more? Here's one. Here's a um, large shader brush, the E60 from Sigma. Again, it would be way too large for me to do any detailed work, but for like a one and done or an all over cream or something this would be very good here's another one that's really great for something like that this is uh, from elizabeth mott but this is such a teeny tiny brush that i feel like it always gets lost and unless i'm completely out of brushes and almost everything else is dirty i don't think to pull for this i do i have used this quite a lot but it's usually like in dire situations so i must feel like i should just get rid of it and just wash my brushes more often yeah, I think so. I should not be hoarding things. Here's another Marc Jacobs. No, that's that's not really what we're doing right now, Natalia. One more. This is another one that I feel like I would use mostly for creams. This is a BH brush. So, I mean, they're, they're different shapes, but I kind of think that's good because, you know, I might want to blend things a little differently depending on the texture, the color, whether it's a matte cream or a shimmer and whatnot. Not. And some of these real technique ones, I really need to give a good rub down with alcohol. You can see like this one, I rubbed off all of that disgusting sticky stuff. And this one, I guess I haven't gotten around to, but it is possible to get rid of that gross uh, film that forms, you know, kind of like on the NARS packaging. It just takes a little bit of elbow grease to do it. Like I had to go through quite a lot with an alcohol soaked cotton pad or something like that, but it's obviously 
actually feels much better. But yeah, we're gonna keep these guys. All right, let's get into these types of brushes that, you know, similar to the E25 and this E06 from Singe. I have this one from Wet n Wild. I do use these quite a bit. These I use a lot of times to blend my outer V, um, this Spectrum and Katie G Hughes number 11 brush. So these are all that I use quite regularly. Do I have any other ones here? No. Oh, here's another one that I use for creams or sometimes to set my eye with like a bone colored matte before I go in with other colors. And yes, this used to be a dual ended brush from who the, maybe crown maybe something else this came in a subscription box it had one of those chunkier rounded pencil brushes on the side that of course completely fell out but this side this side i've had this brush for probably 10 to 12 years and it's my most used my most washed because i set my eyes a lot of times and if this brush is handy i use this all the time and i guess because even though it's dual sided, this side is missing and it just like stands like all the other ones. I, I always know this brush, like I can see it and spot it from miles away. So this brush is not going anywhere. I love this thing. I know it looks janky and most people would have long ago thrown it out, but I really like it. Okay, I also have this refer brush, this 01. This one's a little too splayed out, but again, it's refer. It's not my favorite brush, but I don't feel like I'm ready to part with it. These, I am a bit more more perplexed by. Ah, okay, we have the Sedona Lace uh, EB09. This one over the time has gotten more scratchy, I feel like. This is another one that I reach for like if I'm desperate, if I'm out of all of these other ones. So I think this one needs to go. But then I have all of these that have like a similar pinch, but then they have that angled shape. And I'll be honest, guys, I have no idea what to use these for. Can somebody please help me out? Because I think all of these are going to go in my maybe pile and i'm going to ask you to please enlighten me and let me know what do you use these brushes for because i have no clue i almost never reach for these because they intimidate me so they're gonna go here and hopefully you guys can give me some advice oh i found another little mini blender this is the spectrum 17 so that's gonna stay here's one from b pro this is a detailer so this definitely is one i use every so often often. I think that's it. So I don't actually have too many of these. I, I mean, a six, I guess to most people. Oh no, wait, I forgot my favorite one, my Mac 217. I wish I had more of these. I still have the original before they went synthetic. So this is very old, very, very old. And I do wish I had more of these. I love this brush. But yeah, I think other than that, these are the ones that I have that's more of a highlighter brush i don't know what it's doing here it's again that shape that i'm not quite sure what to do with clearly i found some use for it because it was in my uh, brushes that i just washed i'm pretty sure i use this for highlighter so we're gonna put this with face brushes all right let's go through all of the brushes i use to pack shimmers on my lid i usually spray my shimmers and depending on how i'm using them you know i can either use like a flat one that has the synthetic bristles or I can use one that has the natural bristles that is a little bit less like elongated but a little more fat. I'm telling you, toddler language over here. I have no idea what I'm talking about as far as like the technicalities of how brushes are made and their shapes and all that. But to be honest, I'm just going to group all of these together because while I use them in some ways differently based on the type of shimmer and the color I'm using, they're still all like packing on shimmer brushes for me even something like this from singe this is the 01 and then i have this from spectrum the 15 brush and my favorite mac 242 this is another one i really love the mac 239 again i still have the original natural hair bristles before they changed it i think this was the last brush i bought right before they changed it when they announced that they were changing it because i had heard about the 239 for so many years and never bit the bullet until they were gonna redo them so 
these clearly I've recently used. Here's more detailed one. This is the uh, Singe E07. So we're going to put these here because these are staying. I also have like the really short ones. As I've mentioned, those I use more on the lower lash line. And then I have a few like these. These are a little bit too large, but I still do use them. Something like this because of how you use it. Once you use it once, you either have to clean it off on something or it just goes in my to be washed pile and I grab a clean one. So I go through these brushes quite quickly. So I still keep even these larger ones. This one is a Tom Ford one, the O3 that I snatched up at a CCO. I think it was the only other one available aside from that one I showed you guys earlier. And I didn't even question what I'm gonna use it for. I was like, ooh, Tom Ford for a super great price, getting it. And I am using it. I mean, is it my favorite brush in my collection? Absolutely not, but it's Tom Ford and I, I don't know for some reason because of that i'm just gonna keep using it this is from look see i've had this for a while i do like this brush still even if it is a little chunky here's another one that's very similar this one's from bh so this one i reach for less because i prefer all of these first but again like if i have no other brushes i will definitely use this there's there's nothing stopping me from using it this is sold this is one of those one dollar elf brushes this was probably one of the first brushes I ever had. So I think this one I can safely get rid of by now. Here's a smaller one. I don't usually love the ones that are like more fluffy for packing on. I will still use them once in a while. Here's another one of those larger ones. Again, I'm pretty sure because I bought two separate BH sets that these are identical. Just one has the all white bristles and one does not. Yeah, I'll keep this too. This one, this Sedona lace one, I don't know, for some reason I think because it is even taller like even longer I should say and for some reason even though this one's also quite chubby this one to me just seems a little too much I almost never reach for this one I'm gonna get rid of this one unless again unless you guys can tell me how else I can use it. Here's a couple of other ones. So we have the Singe 04. This one, this one I feel like is neither here nor there. I don't think I'm going to use this vintage cosmetics company brush. I'm sure this was a subscription box situation. Here's a Royal and Land Nickel Omnia detail brush. This would be good, I guess, for packing on the lower lash line, but I wonder why I forget about it. Probably because it's just so short. Is it soft enough? I guess I should give this. Well, we're gonna put it here for now because that's really where it belongs. I have this Revolution. Oh, this is another Royal and uh, Land Nickel brush. I don't remember using this in so long, but it feels like quite a decent brush. For some reason, I don't gravitate towards this one, so we're gonna get rid of that one. Oh wow, blast from the past, and I'm pretty sure I still have the palette too. I don't think I decluttered it. This is from the Urban Decay Electric Palette. And I actually really like this brush for packing on. And I really like this brush for inner corner highlight because it's just so teeny tiny. So I'm going to put this in a maybe together with that other dual ended brush. Here's um, Refer 28. Again, not a brush I use very often just because it's small and gets lost, but I'll keep it for now. Let's see if now that I'm getting rid of a few you, I'll finally reach for it more. This is a Marc Jacobs shadow brush. I feel like these Marc Jacobs ones I maybe found at like TG Maxx or Marshalls when the Marc Jacobs brand was closing. This one I don't use a lot either because it's sort of also an in-between brush. It's kind of an odd shape. You can't really blend with it. What I think I should try using this for is a cream shadow. So I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to keep it and try it with a cream. I think that's it for these line. Okay, so these are my packing on shimmers brushes. Yeah, I know quite a lot, but I do use most of these on a regular basis. There's only a couple of stragglers that are like the last resort here. Okay, we are we are full. We are full. So let's do this. Now these are gonna be the keeps. 
these are the declutters at the moment okay let's finish off the eye brushes so these are all like more of inner corner and lower lash line so let me see what else i have these are in this is a good inner corner brush i will keep that one this would be a good lower lash line brush i don't have too many of those this is actually a lip brush from sedona lace i think i often use this as an inner corner brush and very rarely as a lip brush so we'll keep that here's another great inner corner brush here's a declutter another abh one. Oh no that's not a declutter this is a declutter here's another lip brush that i don't even know what to do with these here's another dose of colors i think this one i can get rid of i think that's it for lower lash line and um inner corner and then aside from my singe brushes that are not going anywhere i haven't even tried absolutely every single one yet let's look at these weird stragglers i never use spoolies that are not that are separate for brows and i don't use pomades or any of that so to be honest these brushes pretty much never get used i don't know if i'm ready to part with the spectrum one just because i don't know if i want to break up the set although i'll be honest i don't really do eyeliner like this either so like these brushes these three i don't think were ever used because i don't even know what to use this for it's just so wide that i can't like what where what am i gonna stamp my eye is curved what am i gonna do with this so please somebody enlighten me what would you use this brush for the spectrum 09 i'm gonna keep these three for now mainly just to keep the set together but these three i'll be honest i do not use i got a real techniques lip set at some point i think there's one more brush in here yes there is and i use this one on occasion i have no idea what to use this one for i don't remember if i've ever used it i use this sometimes not very often for the lips like sometimes i'll do it as an inner corner highlight or something else so i feel like i should keep these three and i'm gonna put this in the declutter pile but i would love to hear from you guys what is what is this for like even in the context of a lip brush it's it's so rough and it's so dense and obviously you can see it's like a perfectly round little circle. So I'm not sure how it fits with the shape of anyone's lips. So please let me know, what is this brush for? Um, The case. Do I need the case? Honestly, I don't really need the case. I don't really use the case. So I think I am going to declutter the case as cute as it is. All right. I do sometimes, as you can see by this very gross situation that I need to clean, I do sometimes use um, these type of brushes to um, go through if like I have clumpy mascara so that's the only side I use I have no idea what this would be for so I'll keep these two for that purpose and then we have these these I don't feel like I really use any of these I used to use this to like stamp on eyeshadow instead of like I would use it as eyeliner so I do feel like I should keep this one and maybe like one of these really thin ones because I'm not really an eyeliner person I guess I'll keep the Sigma one and get rid of the Sedona lace. I have not used this Real Techniques Pixel Point Eyeliner Brush in forever. As I said, I don't really use the spoolies, so I kept the Spectrum one just for the completionist in me, so I don't think I really need to keep this one. I don't really love this brush, and I, again, have no idea what one does with something this flat. I think this came in a set, a Wet n Wild set. I like quite a lot of the face brushes and, like, one or two of the eye brushes, but this one, I, I don't know what to do with. So that's gonna get decluttered. And with that, the eye brush portion of this mega saga is finally over so we are going to switch over to the face brushes so it is actually the next day quick recap on all of my eye brushes so these are the keeps and these are the declutters at the moment and then there's a pile of questionable maybe slash brushes i have no idea what to do with so i'm gonna set these aside and today tackle the face brushes.
these are all the brushes I am working with. These are the ones that were recently washed, so clearly most recently used. This is an e.l.f. brush holder uh, that I've had for a really long time. That's why it's a bit grimy and gross. I really need to clean it out. But these, I find, are the brushes that I have used the least over the past, you know, half a year to a year. And then these brushes, I definitely rotate through, you know, plus minus a few of them, because Sometimes I just stick them wherever there's space, to be honest. There's kind of no rhyme or reason. But yeah, some of these I do use regularly. And as I said, these were the ones that were most recently cleaned. So I guess let's go through these since um, I know they're not really going anywhere. And these brushes also are not going anywhere. I fairly recently, when these released, purchased the Singe Beauty face brush set. This is a um, brand that Aniela Kanikist started. You guys saw I have, I think, all of the eye brushes as well. So I've used quite a few of these, but not all of them yet. So I'm excited to play around with these a lot more. These are definitely smaller face brushes, which is good for my collection because I definitely have plenty large ones. And that is, I feel like what I'm more used to, not because it's necessarily my preference, but it's just kind of what I started with because of course I started with the most affordable brushes I could find years ago and it just became a habit. So I'm excited to use these more and learn really how to use them uh, better. So, so far I've really enjoyed quite a few of these shapes. I know a lot of people love this one for concealer. I have actually yet to try it. So this is kind of on my top priority list. I've used more of like the standard shapes for blush, for bronzer, for all sorts of things. So yeah, I'm excited to play more with all of these brushes. This is my pride and joy that I I really need to use for the first time, hopefully this upcoming week. I, I think I'm a little scared of using it, to be honest. This is my only Sonia G brush, and I got it in my 2024 Beautylish Lucky Bag. If you're curious to see that unboxing and my reaction to finally getting my very first Sonia G brush, then I can go ahead and link that video. I've always wanted to try Sonia G brushes because so many of my friends and other creators just have only good things really to say. I feel like pretty much anyone that's tried Sonia G has loved Sonia G brushes. I don't think I've ever heard anybody say anything negative about this company. So I'm really excited to try it. And again, smaller brush. So I feel like I'm now having quite a few smaller brush options. Out of these other brushes that I have been using most recently, there's this Beaky Beauty uh, 104. I love this brush. I use this for powder, for blush, for bronzer. This is one of those brushes that very often, like if I'm packing makeup to go and I really want to stay minimal, I will pack a brush like this. I know it's a bit larger, but it kind of serves the purpose for so many different things. However, I will have to say that I think my favorite way of using this is as a bronzer brush. So I really love this brush. I don't even know if I should do this by brand or by shape. I know with the eye brushes, I did it by shape. Should I go ahead and do the same thing? Because then if I'm doing it by shape and if we're doing it, this one got a little bit dried like funky. It got a little bit deformed. I guess it was sitting on top of something. I apologize. It's it's definitely like a very nice traditional tulip shaped brush. So I'm so sorry that it's like a little funky. But out of brushes like that, I have quite a few actually that I feel like are sort of similar. Let's see. Um, I also have this one. And then there's this one. We've got real techniques. Maybe that's it for these tulip shaped brushes. Okay, so let's see what I have. I have two uh, BH brushes, which we've established in my eye sets that clearly I bought two sets and they must have had identical brushes in them. It's just one is all white, one has the multicolored bristles. To be honest, I don't think I reach for these first. These are like the ones I go to once some of these other ones are dirty. Primarily these. These two are the ones I use the 
the most. So the Real Techniques brush I've had for the longest time, you can see pretty much all the writing has worn off and I have gone ahead and scrubbed this down with alcohol to get rid of that grimy stuff so that I can keep using the brush. I love this brush and to be honest, this used to be my favorite like multitasker before the BK Beauty came into my life. So these two are not going anywhere. This one is, I don't even know, what is this? Oh, this is Moda Pro. And honestly, it seems quite similar. So I feel like maybe because it's a slightly shorter brush, it gets a little bit lost and I neglect it. But I feel like I would really enjoy this. So this could be like a runner up. And then I have this Sydney Grace brush that I don't actually know if I've used yet. I feel like this was something I got in either a mystery bag or some such situation. And I just haven't gotten around to using it yet. So I really need to give this brush a chance before it goes anywhere. And I'm wondering if I need both of these BH Cosmetics brushes. I mean, they're, they're good brushes. I have absolutely nothing against BH brushes. I very much enjoy them. I'm just wondering if I need this many of essentially the same thing. I'm gonna set these two aside in a maybe pile and I guess see like where I land at the end and how much space I've created if any because I don't want to get rid of them just to get rid of them but I feel like if I am feeling overwhelmed at the end by still the amount of brushes that I have these might get passed on to somebody else who would need them more than I but these we are gonna keep okay let's go through this bougie Tom Ford brush as you have seen with two Oh, and it is shedding a little bit, which is annoying. Like, I mean, yes, I bought this at a CCO for a really, really good price. I don't remember if it was like 75% off or what. So of course I didn't pay whatever crazy price this is. And I don't know, I don't know what this is. This is the 06, but I don't know what it's meant for. I will tell you what I use it for. I've been using this brush with my Dior No Powder powder no powder because I find that that one sometimes can be a bit hard to pick up with a very fluffy brush so I like to pick it up with a more dense one and this one has been working really really nicely for that powder. I of course can use this in a lot of different other ways. This is a great brush, I think, for any product, pretty much. I think I could use this for bronzer, for blush, possibly even for, I don't know if I would want to use it for foundation, but there's tons of things I could do with this brush. I really have been enjoying it, and I don't think I really have anything that is similar. Definitely not with this sort of density. I, I like how full it is and how it has a bit of resistance. It's it's not super flimsy. Let's see, do I have anything at all similar? Maybe this, hold on, let's see if there's anything else. Would this even be, I guess, this one clearly I haven't used in a while because I haven't cleaned it off. I have this one. Would I consider this at all similar? Not really, this one's much fluffier. Yeah, I don't I don't know if I would, con I mean, I can put it here, but I have these that are quite, dense. This is another BH Cosmetics brush, which means I'm sure I probably have a second one. Yes. I don't know if I would consider this because this is much more dense, even more dense than the Tom Ford. This is a real technique and this would be more of a foundation brush, I feel like. But I mean, I guess we can go through all of these, although I feel like this is closer to something like this. Let's not do all of them at once. Let's go through these and see if all of these are staying or not. Definitely we know the Tom Ford is staying and the refer is going to stay, even though it also sheds, as you can probably see and much more so than the Tom Ford. The Tom Ford I just haven't had for as long and I haven't washed as many times so I feel like it's still having a little bit of residual shedding but I'm hoping once the few loose hairs leave it will last me a long time. Whereas this one just consistently loses hair. I, I don't know. A lot of people love refer brushes and while I do enjoy them I can't say that they're my favorite but at the same time I don't have that many natural hair brushes. So I will keep this one as well. As I just mentioned, I really haven't used this Real Techniques brush in such a long time. And I feel like it's one of these shapes where it's like a little bit nor here nor there. It's not dense enough for foundation. Yes, it's 
probably very good for something like powder but i feel like i have enough of those brushes i don't know again i i feel bad getting rid of brushes that are still perfectly functional and work well but maybe i can pass this on clean this off and pass this on to somebody that doesn't have good brushes because this i would still consider a very good brush i don't know this is just just a multitask brush and that is really exactly what it is but i just don't feel like i reach for it at the moment so i'm gonna put this aside and again decide on some of these at the end based on how i'm doing although i have a feeling this should just get decluttered what am i gonna do with these guys i feel like this shape i would use probably more often than those tulip ones and i'm wondering if i should maybe just keep one of each and pass on the other one now the question of course is going to be what do i prefer i like the aquamarine handle because i think this was part of the zodiac sign but i'll be honest i do prefer like the coloring of this brush i don't want to break up sets so i feel like if i'm keeping with these tulip ones if i decide to just keep one then i feel like i should keep like the zodiac set and not break it up so i have the garnet and the aquamarine but i'll be honest i really much prefer the look of this one with the cool gray handle so in that case i feel like i should keep these two and pass on these so i have a little bit more attachment to the zodiac theme but i like the look of these better you know what i'm going to i think for now put these in the maybe and i think i'll go ahead and declutter these i do feel bad breaking up my zodiac set i'll be honest i can't keep them all i really can't so i think those are gonna go this is a really nice brush from b pro sculptor don't know where i have it from but definitely one i do reach for every so often and this brush this brush i don't know what to do with so this is a hakuhodo collab with sephora pro i bought this when these were getting clearanced out i don't remember how many of these brushes they came out with but i managed to snag two of them on clearance so they were quite pricey brushes and i believe this is real hair because hakuhodo is a japanese brand that i've been hearing about for many many years and have always wanted to try their original brushes so when they did this collab with sephora a few years back and then they went on sale i decided to uh, splurge because i think even on sale they were fairly pricey I have this other one that's been sitting in my recently washed because this i do use sometimes as a concealer brush mostly so these two i'm gonna keep but i would love your advice on how you would use a brush like this because this is one i feel like now that i'm starting to get into smaller brushes and just learning more about application and higher quality brushes in general i feel like i would enjoy it more than i used to but i'm still a little confused on what would be the best use for a brush like that so definitely keeping all of these would love to hear your thoughts on those right. let's see let's deal with some blush brushes or at least for me these angled brushes i really love to use as blush brushes so i have these from the recently washed and i'm sure i have a bunch of others some of them are larger some of them are smaller some of them are ancient are there more? I think that's it, but if we come across others later. All right, some of the ones I constantly use. The Refer 04, I really like this one for both powders and creams. Yes, it's also getting a little bit beat up and loses hair every so often, but I actually do really, really like this brush. The other one, and this has been a fave for many, many years, is the Sigma Large Angled Contour Brush, the F40. I use this as a blush brush. Always have for many, many, many years. I used to have a little mini set of this brush that I actually still have a case for and we'll have to look through and see what is in there. I haven't even tackled that. But yeah, these two definitely faves. Another one I really have been liking lately is actually this brush from BH Cosmetics, which of course is identical, I think, at least to me. This one's a little flimsier than this. Maybe that, yeah. Yeah, I feel like this one has a little 
little more resistance. So maybe the bristles are a little bit different. I think I prefer this one just a teeny tiny bit more. So definitely keeping this one. Let me think about that one. I also really like this It Cosmetics brush. This used to be one of my favorite blush brushes. Probably now it's just a tad bit too large. I have been getting used to the smaller shapes, but I'm still not ready to part with this one. I still do reach for it every once in a while. And it is just such a soft and well-made brush. Really like this one. This is an eye on beauty brush, angled blusher. I think I got this in a subscription and I used to really like this brush, but I feel like that was in my beginner days where I didn't really understand that sizes of brushes mattered just as much as the shapes and the quality. So I haven't really used this one in a long time and I'm wondering if I still need to keep it or not. I feel like I have some of these other options that maybe would be better. Although, you know, for like a all over, a really nice, quick, blush. Let me think about this one. This one I really like. It's a little more pinched, so I don't use it quite as often. And frankly, I think it just got a little bit lost in the shuffle of all of these brushes. But I definitely want to keep this Marc Jacobs one. This Japanese brush also. I don't know why I haven't been using this one recently because this one looks really nice. We're going to keep that one. I'm going to get rid of this e.l.f. angled brush. There's absolutely nothing wrong with it except for the fact that it's just old and it's one of my initial very affordable ones and I just it just gets lost I just forget about it with all of these now nicer brushes so I'm gonna pass this along to somebody that doesn't have a lot of brushes I think I'm also gonna get rid of this one the candle is super cool it says diamond and it has like these multicolor specks all throughout there but I think somebody else will really enjoy having this brush I feel like I have enough okay this one I've never used this one this came in my spectrum set this is the 04 this is a dual fiber and again I struck I don't know. I struggle with dual fibers. I guess maybe because I don't use cream blush quite as often as I do powder. And I just forget that I have dual fiber brushes that I really should use. And I end up applying a lot of my cream blushes, to be honest, with my sponge. So I really need to test this out. If you guys have the set and you have a favorite use for this brush, can you please let me know how you use it? Because I finally need to try it. This is really the only one I'm torn on because it's such a soft brush. And I do remember really enjoying it but I, I don't know. I just don't know if, if I need it anymore. So I think this is going to go into my maybe pile along with those two BH brushes. So we're going to put these here to the side, not to mix them up with the declutters. These I'm going to keep. Let's go through some of these smaller brushes that I use for highlighters. Although to be honest, this I actually use for contouring. I need to clean it. I use this brush a lot. It is a contour brush and that's how I use it. I use this for cream contour contour a lot because it's so dense it's synthetic fibers and it just fits right in the like hollows of my cheeks so this is a great brush I've had it for years it has no signs of slowing down I don't really use that for highlighter very often so it's kind of like a bit of a standalone I don't really think I have any other brush that is this shape or at least this density so yeah, this is usually my go-to contour brush. And then all of these more flimsy, little smaller brushes, these are all like highlighter brushes usually. Occasionally I use them for other things. So let's see, do I have others? I think that's it. And again, I'm sure we're gonna have some stragglers like this. I don't even know. What do I use this for? Small contour. So maybe this could be like a backup brush for a contour because that's what the Luxie brush actually says it is. So we'll keep this one. Let's see what we've got here. Ones I know I use regularly. This one, the B Pro Highlighter, definitely is something I use. I love this Luxie Precision Foundation Brush to use for either under eye setting or as I said, a lot of times highlighter. This is definitely a brush that gets used a lot. I also use this Real Techniques uh, setting brush most of the time also either for setting under the eyes, putting like loose 
loose powder to set my concealer or as a highlighter brush. And then these I kind of use here and there sporadically. They're not favorites necessarily, but I'll definitely go ahead and keep the Spectrum one. This I used to use all the time. This is the e.l.f. blush brush. I'm surprised I only have one left. I think that's only because the other ones all fell apart because this I used to use for highlighter and for setting and for blush so much in the past. These were some of my favorite blushes for so many years. I mean, sorry, fa favorite brushes. I don't know. I almost feel nostalgic. I almost want to keep this and use it until this one also falls apart just because I've had it for so long and it's been through so much. Let me think about this. Okay, this Wet n Wild brush. It's kind of too large to be a highlighting brush. I feel like though it might be a little too small to be a blush brush for me. On the other hand, I'm keeping very similar singe brushes. These are very similar size and I do plan on trying to use them for those similar purposes. So I don't know. I'm wondering if for now I should keep this because I am trying to be more of a small brush person over here. On the other hand, like I have something like this. I find like I prefer a slightly more tapered brush versus like a perfectly round one. And then I have this and this. Oh goodness me. Honestly, I feel like out of all of them, this one, because I did used to use it a lot, is the most beat up. While it's very soft, it almost feels like, I don't even know how to describe it. They almost feel like more dried out at this point. This one should go. Maybe for now, these two will stay and I will see how that goes. Oh, and I think this is the other one, this emerald one that is the counterpart to this brush. Well, I've been keeping these more so than these. So I think I will let go of the emerald as much as I love this green handle and keep this one. So yeah, we'll keep both of these and I do use this one quite a lot. We'll think about that one. That's gonna go into the maybes. I feel like this is getting harder and harder. Let's go through some brushes that I am seeing that honestly I never use. This Bare Minerals brush that came with like a foundation where you're supposed to put it in here. I never understood this. I tried it a few times. I hated it. It's going. This is I think one of the only brushes I have left from that bunny set or whatever it was called. I don't know, this this set in this case, it was a travel set. It's how I got introduced to Sigma. I think that was the very first set I ever bought. So, I mean, we're talking so a decade old. This is the large powder brush. The only time, honestly, I ever reach for this still once in a blue moon is if I have a smaller makeup bag that just cannot fit my large brushes and I just want to have one makeup bag on the go and not a separate baggie for brushes. I will sometimes have to pick and choose from my smaller handled ones, but I don't know if that's a good enough reason to keep this because that is actually the only time I will ever use this brush anymore. I think it's gonna go. I've been looking at these guys guys. I feel like I had more. This was, it even says BoxyCharm. This was something that came in a BoxyCharm and somewhere, I think it's at my best friend's apartment, somewhere I actually have an entire box of different brand brushes that are like this, that were like duping those, was it Artiste? I can't remember the name of those brushes, but you know what I'm talking about. Like the ones that were so dense, they almost were like sponges. I just, for some reason, I forget about these. I never use them. I'm going to let these Go. I need to find that other set and give it a try and see if that's something I would use. But yeah, that needs to go. I'm trying to see what else I can easily let go of. All right, let me just take these out because at this point I'm not doing anything by shape. There's really no rhyme and reason to this. And this case needs to get washed. Let's look through some of these giant powder blushes, uh, brushes, sorry, because I used to use these type of brushes a lot more often than I do now. So I don't know if I need all of these. I think the one I use the most is this Wet n Wild one. I think the one I use the least is this other Wet n Wild one, although it is cute and super duper soft, but I don't think I need this one. I really like this Real Techniques brush. My only gripe with it is the base is just so thick that it takes up so much space. And then I have this one, which is a Japanesque brush. I mean, I don't know. 
three powder brushes, three ginormous powder brushes. Maybe that's not too crazy and too exorbitant. What do you guys think? I also have this one, but this one is more dense. This one I definitely would use for like a powder that's harder to pick up. Like again, the Dior one, whereas these would be for more wispy powders. I think I'll keep these. These these are good brushes. I do reach for them still every once in a while. Right. This uh, was definitely a set that I used to use, but to be honest, I don't think I do anymore with the exception of one or two eye brushes. I think this came in a subscription unless I bought the set myself. I can't remember. These were crown brushes. I don't remember the last time I reached for these. This one, now that I'm feeling it, would be another good maybe con like a cream contour because it does have more of a dense texture and i think it just gets lost because again it's one of the smaller ones so i think i'm definitely going to get rid of this one and i'm going to think about this one i don't remember the last time i used this moda pro brush i guess this is contour chisel situation but i don't really use brushes like this i don't think i need this foundation brushes i have the flat and i have these angled ones from the angled ones i have the bk beauty 101 which is very popular in the beauty space i know now they have a smaller version of this which i have a feeling i would probably prefer but i don't have that one i also have this one from sigma this is the multitasker f47 i have used this and it's quite nice so i have is that all i have these three angled ones and one flat one i used to have the sigma f80 it completely fell apart on me so this is actually i think the only flat one i own and i don't use it often but i feel like i should have one. Oh, i also have this one which i recently used for foundation this is the wet n wild one i don't know i felt like this one was a little streaky because i think it's too flimsy so actually i think i'm gonna get rid of this one even though it was in my recently washed pile because i did recently use it but i didn't love it so actually i think i'm gonna get rid of this one even though i love the set with these thinner handles on the bottom and then Instead, I'm just going to keep these guys. And this way, when I am looking for an angled brush, I will test these four out and then decide, well, these three and then this one and decide if I need all of them. I also actually have this one, which I think I would use for the same, for like liquid foundations for the same purposes. So yeah, I have, these are both from the same BH set. So I have an angled one and then just a round one. So I'll keep both. Let's see what else is here. There's a a lot of dual fiber which i used to use for cream blush i am into cream blush again these past couple of years because they have been all arranged but i used to be many years ago i had like a cream blush phase and i used to use these guys these elf small stipple brushes i think it was emily noel who initially recommended these to everybody and they were like what a dollar or something like that so i clearly had a lot of these i even had a little baby one that must have come in like a travel set i don't use these that often anymore to be honest i also used to use this laura geller brush i believe i used to use this with her blushes and highlighters like the gelato swirls i haven't pulled for this in so long wow last from the past this b pro duo fiber is one i remember using this i can't remember who influenced me to buy but somebody did this is a sephora pro stippling brush this is a little large i think that's why i used it less these i liked how precise they were for the creams and then i also have a look see duo fiber i have this real techniques one that i remember i used to like again i'm not loving this chubby base because it takes up so much space so actually i think this one I'm gonna get rid of because I do have a lot here to choose from. I have these four and then these four. Definitely don't need all of them. So let's see. I might keep one of the elf for nostalgia. I'm trying to see which ones are like the most sturdy. You can see I use this one a lot. It's even stained. It's not really going anywhere. This one feels a little flimsier. This one's more dense. Yeah, definitely more dense. All right, let's do this. Let's keep two and get rid of two. And then from these, I kind of like the idea of having this just in case because I remember I liked the shape of it 
it. It curves your cheek quite nicely. So I think I'm going to keep the Laura Geller. And I feel like I don't need all three of these, but which one do I want to keep? Or which two do I want to keep? I don't really want to get rid of a Sephora Pro brush because, I mean, they make really good brushes, but I don't, I don't really reach for this one all that often. So like, why am I keeping it? Yes, it's a nice brush, but somebody else could use this. So I think I'm going to get rid of the Sephora one, even though that's a little hard. And I guess I'll keep these two because this one is a lot softer and has a lot more give and this one is smaller so has a bit more precision. I used to use these brushes for contouring back in the days when we all used to contour a lot. Do I need them still? I feel like I should keep them because the trends come back right now. I'm not really contouring a lot but I used to. I remember I really like this elf one but the wet and wild is just a little more compact. I don't know maybe maybe I can't decide. I'm getting I'm getting a little overwhelmed. Let's pull out the rest of these. Let's try to finish this up. These paddle brushes I use for masking. This poor brush is on its last legs. I mean, look at it. I have these three. This one's got to go. So we'll keep these three for masking. This refer one, I somehow missed it, I guess, because it's a little baby tulip and not those larger ones. But um, while I don't use this brush a lot, it's one of the few refer ones I have. Again, if you have suggestions for how you would use this, this is the refer 19. I'm all ears. Here's another brush one could potentially use for contouring, like cream contouring. I swear I've been using my sponge for pretty much all of that. But at the same time, I feel like if my preferences change, I don't want to have to go buying brushes. Yes, these are cheap brushes, but they're still good. So I don't know. 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 This is a very nice brush. I somehow missed it. This could be something I use for blush or for highlighter. So we'll go ahead and keep that. This brush, I remember was hyped by Tati. This is the Sonia Kashuk 29. This is like the blush brush. And I think I think I really liked how it applied brush, but I think I didn't like the shape because it, it's it's really it's just like a round ball. So I felt like it was too wide for precise application, but too small for like all. Oh, I, I never got on board with this brush. I feel like this is one, like if I were to have a basket of doom of brushes, this needs to be in that. I, I want to give it one more chance before I get rid of it. So this is going to go in uh, maybe, but needs to be used. This Vasanti brush. I don't remember the last time I used it. It's a nice brush. It's a blush brush. I have enough. We're going to get rid of that one. This one I do use occasionally for like tinted moisturizers and BB creams and lighter weight foundations. So I'm going to keep this Real Techniques brush. This one... This one I've used before too for that purpose. Goodness, I feel like I'm keeping a lot. You know what? Okay, I'll I'll keep these two. I will get rid of this one just because it's so small. It's going to get lost. I cannot part with this though. This came, what was that subscription called? It was one of the first things I ever got, like a mystery box. It was a tube. It's a service that for some reason stopped even though i thought it was a fantastic service it wasn't like a lure beauty it was like a high-end magazine like a dermatology or aesthetician magazine that created like this test tube thing and it actually came in a cardboard tube i feel like the only person that i know and i have watched for many many years that also has this brush or maybe another one that came in that tube and that used to get that tube the few months they had it is alejandra lizette so Alex, if you're watching, and if you remember the name of that subscription thing I'm talking about, was it just called Test Tube or was it something else? But anywho, I think I got only like a few of them, the, the boxes, the tubes. And this I think was in my very first one. I have used the crap out of this brush because it was like the first and only high end for me back then brush that I owned for the longest time before I had any like fluffy powder brushes. So I used use this like to set all over my face back in the day. I use this for my bronzer. Yes, it is humongous. It's like a kabuki brush basically. And I actually used to have a few of those too. I used to use kabuki brushes because they were very popular here on YouTube back in the day. But yeah, I got rid of the kabuki brushes because I, I guess I just got tired of those at some point. But this one I'm not parting with. Not to mention it is still so soft. So soft. Love this brush. Even if I rarely use it now, still it's like sentimental. 
this is another brush that's kind of sentimental. So there was a, a woman that I've met actually when she was in New York and I used to watch all the time. I don't believe she does YouTube videos or at least not often anymore. I think she still does Instagram lives and posts every once in a while. Kristen Game, she recommended this brush. I think when she was in New York, we like had a chat about how to apply highlighter and whatever the highlighter of the moment was. I don't even remember now what it was. And I used to apply highlighter with this brush, the fan brush all on my cheek like this for years. This brush got, oh, I know what I use this with. I use this with my Laura Mercier, that highlighter 01, which was my favorite highlighter for years and years and years. And this is what I would apply it with. I feel like I need to try that now that I'm talking about it. I haven't done that in so long. I need to try it. These two brushes are gonna be like my basket of doom brushes. I want to revisit them and see if I'm going to fall back in love with them or not. Well, this one I never was in love with, but this one, this one was, this one has been places with me. I mean, it's, it's an international brush. I'm sure this thing has traveled to concerts and loved this brush. So we're keeping her for now. And I think guys, that's it. Okay, I'm not gonna count what I'm keeping. I think that's just gonna be that that's just gonna be traumatizing. But let's look at what I'm getting rid of, just so I can feel good about myself. These are the face brushes I'm getting rid of. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one. Twenty-two brushes that are gonna eventually exit. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one. Twenty-two brushes that are gonna exit. I have these that I am unsure about. What am I gonna do with you guys? What am I gonna do with you guys? I think I can let this one go. What did I just say? 22, so 23. I think as nostalgic as this is, do they still make this? As nostalgic as this is, I feel like maybe I should just get rid of it and if I ever want... You know what? I remember now why I kept this one because I used to have multiples of these. This was, you know, I guess quality control. They were all a little different. This was like the softest and the most pinched. Pinched, that's the word. I keep saying tapered, I think this whole entire two hour video. Anyway, sorry about that. Pinched is what I was going for. And I think I really liked the shape of this one the most from all the e.l.f. ones, the, the blush brushes that I ever owned. So you know what? No, I'm changing my mind. I'm gonna keep this one. I'm gonna keep these two because I'm getting rid of the other ones. I do really like this brush. I'm gonna try this one. I'm gonna try this one. And if it is in fact just way too big for my intents and purposes nowadays, then I'm going to pass this along to somebody because it is a really nice brush. It's simple, yes, but it's a good brush. And then these two. You know what? I'm going to keep the Wet n Wild just because it takes up less space and I'm going to get rid of the Elf. So 24 brushes that we are decluttering, a million and three that we are keeping. And then these are the eye brushes that I am keeping. And these are the eye brushes that I'm getting rid of. One, two, three, four, five, six, Eight brushes in here that I am getting rid of. And lastly, my eye brush maybes that I never went through. I'm going to keep this because I can use this as a highlighter brush. You guys are going to let me know what you do with these angled brushes because I have no idea. So for now, I'm keeping these. They're kind of basket of doom brushes, I guess. Here we are. This is like one of those neither here nor there, too large to be an eye brush, too small, I feel like, to be anything else. So I think I'm going to get rid of this brush. This is a dual fiber eye brush. I don't know. I, I don't really use dual fiber eye brushes. So comment and let me know if you think there's a great use for something like this. I'm sure I'm not going to get rid of these brushes immediately. I need to find a home for them, but for now it's getting decluttered. So 2930. It's going to keep this for the inner corner. You know what? It's okay. 31. This one though I am going to keep because I think, you know, I still have the palette. I'm going to keep this one. This one's just like sentimental. These are basket of dooms. Need to test and don't know what to do with. Decluttering. 31 eyeshadow brushes. 24 face brushes for a total of 50, wait, four, wait, what did I just say? 31, 31 and 24. 55, 55 brushes. You know what? 
Okay, 55 brushes that I am getting rid of. That really scares me as to how many I own because I'm sure it has to be like triple this amount. But I'm really happy that I am getting rid of 55 brushes. Hopefully I'm gonna make some friends happy and I'm gonna feel less overwhelmed. And these actually fit into these three containers. I think I will still clean this and use it so that one of these containers I can keep empty to put my dirty brushes into. Yeah, and maybe one of these candle holders I can actually fully repurpose and get rid of or plant some plants into because that's, I do do that. All right, I'm gonna stop blabbering. I feel like I'm so tired and I'm just blabbering at this point for absolutely no reason. If you enjoyed this horrendously long brush saga, then please give this video a like, subscribe for more craziness. My 12th and final, well, there's going to be a bonus declutter eventually once I edit it. But my 12th and final declutter in the 12 days of declutter series is my eyeshadow palette, guys. And it is coming. It is almost edited. I've been like doing a few minutes here and there. I'm excited about that one. To be honest, I filmed it by now like two months ago. So I don't even remember what I've decluttered and <laughs> what I said in that video. So it'll be a surprise for all of us. And with that, I hope that you guys are doing really, really well. Thank you so much for sticking it out if you're still here i i'm wow wow thank you i hope that you guys are continuing to stay safe and healthy take care of yourselves and those around you and i cannot wait to see you in my next video bye guys